Hi folks, welcome back to Redly Deadly Redemption 2 with me, Andy, and Arthur Morgan, and Lil Steedy. We'll be your hosts for today's Morgan Monday, where we are going to get John Martin out of prison because he is he's incarcerated against his will, against my will, certainly. Um, who knows what privations, what d d uh, degradations, depri deprivations, all the Asians he's having to suffer over there in Sisica State Penitentiary. So we're gonna um, we're gonna bust him out. It's gonna be an exciting jailbreak. Uh, we'll probably have to um, sneak sneak out in a sewer pipe um, behind a big poster of Annie Oakley or some other cowboy pinup. Um, I know Clint Eastwood, something like that. But um, before we do that, before we do that, bad news, folks. We're gonna have to. Um, we're gonna have to go to the to do this um, Sadie Adler mission, which is gonna um, it's gonna be bad times. So I think we should get dressed up in the happiest outfit that we can choose, and then you know it'll it'll create an, a nice happy atmosphere that no bad news could possibly break. Right? That's how it works. Guys, I'm looking looking quite pale, looking a bit looking a bit purple around the eyes. We have styles for all persons. Um yeah, anyway, fashion. Now what's going on in here? So yeah, let's put together something real, real cheery, cheery and nice. How about it? So let's um maybe maybe there's maybe there's a pre-made outfit, some kind of dandy about town scenario that we could enjoy. Uh, like this, this is fun. Maybe the sort of outfit that you'd wear to receive People bad news. Or what about Corson? It's a terrible coat. Why would anyone wear that? It's awful. Um, the the Breton. Okay, these are all quite bad. Just and I've got the do I've got this, but all right, you failed me. Outfits, but that's fine. I'm thinking a lot of color, a lot of cheeriness. What's the what is the happiest color? What do you folks think? I don't I don't end up looking like a clown, but I do want to you know. Cheeriness. Um, a pair of trousers from me is an investment in your maybe a nice a nice yes yellow check. How can you be sad in a in a yellow check? And then to we'll match that with a a nice yellow waistcoat maybe. That's what I'm thinking. What have you got in a yellow? Oh, a nice gold. See, see that's that's jolly. Just and then a lot of people saying yellow is the is the happiest colour, which is cool. So let's get a nice white shirt underneath it. As a nice uh, sort of contrast. There we go. And then let's have a look at the the nice the happiest boots. Maybe these nice cow cowboy boots, the quick drawers. I've got to take these off. I can do it. In a, I can do that in a minute. Um, Important. The hat will be an important so you can aspect here. Confidence. So, what 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 would a happy, healthy person wear? Some sort of Arthur, your eyes. Big yellow hat. That's just gonna look weird, so, but it's fine. Wearing it out. And then a big yellow coat, and then nothing bad can happen. Nothing bad can happen when you wear a bright yellow coat. It's jolly and fine. Wow. That, that is this coat is doing something to that mirror, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. I think we've got a haunted mirror here in the Taylors. But that's that's alright. That's the Taylor's prerogative. Hmm. What is your preferred color for this? There we go. Look how how jolly this all looks together. A nice 
And then if we change the color of the tie, then it's, it's going to look great. It's going to look happy. Nothing bad will ever happen. Oh, like stripes. Look at that. It's very... <gasps> the, oh, yeah. Look like some kind of beekeeper. You can really All right. feel the quality of that one, right? Okay, looking I looking jolly. Looking jolly and happy and ready to spend the day receiving good health news. That's what this looks like to me. Yeah. Yeah. Seems seems good and fine. All right, let's just uh, check in with you folks while I don't run anyone over with my horse. Hello. Uh, you'll notice that we're a bit earlier this week than we usually are. That's because after this stream, uh, Luke and Mike are going to be playing with Google Stadia's uh, Crowdplay uh, feature. So if you want to play a game with Luke and Mike, um, be sure to check out. It's pinned to the top of the chat, so you can check out the link there. I think there's something that you need to download or um, register for, but you can play um, Bomberman R with those guys. They're going to be doing that later on, which should be a lot of fun. Um, and you can get tons of people in that game, like 100 people playing Bomberman at once. So check that out. Uh, Annika Brock says, today's my 30th birthday. And while it's mostly not at all how I imagined it, I'm glad it's on a Morgan Monday, though less so that it's this particular one. Heartbreak. Um, well, happy birthday, Annika. Uh, and be sure to put aside your birthday do-over voucher for um, when everything's back to normal, so you can have a proper celebration. Um, yeah, this is, if, if people don't want to watch the, um, the diagnosis bit, maybe um, just, just come back in 10 minutes, go and make a cup of tea or something like that, because it's, um, it's, happening. it's happening now. It's going on now. I thought maybe I had to get to the marker, but uh, no, it's just going to start happening in the street. Really, even though I'm dressed so jollily. Help me, people of Saint Denis! Save me! I'm having an attack of the of the TB. Oh, he's dressed jollily as well. Look at his yellow waistcoat. Mister, are you okay? Shame about the mustache. Mister, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I've got a preventable okay, disease that we haven't invented the cure for yet. Thank you. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure I'm fine. Probably what it is, is uh, Guama Syndrome, which is when you've spent too much time in Guama and uh, everything goes bad because of how bad Guama is. Oh. I'll be fine in a minute. I'll be fine in a minute, probably. See, that's all it took. I will still go to the doctor though, maybe get some tink tinctures. Nearly there, just around this corner. Come on, Arthur. Nice and nice and quick. Now you head in there, friend. Here we go. And Dr. Joseph Barnes. The best in town probably. So let's go let's go in and be cured. Hello. One T B cure, please. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <coughs> Hello. Just coming in for a regular checkup. Yes, sir. Everything's fine. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mr. T. All right. God. I'm sorry. Okay, I he was, was joking. joking. It's fine. It's fine. Good sense of humor, this Friend, doctor. Mean nothing, but you got money? Yeah, I got, look how I'm dressed. I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. I'm, both, I'm dressed both fancily and there, jollily. Uh, so, sure. as you can see. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I couldn't possibly I mean, have ever, anything wrong with me. The symptoms. Well, I think you've heard them. And I'm 
coffin. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh, oh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Oh, yeah. Now, what this, what this is, is um, just a touch of Guama syndrome, which is uh, nothing to worry about. Let me see, Let your, me tongue. see your tongue. Say just ah. check it. Wow, I've never seen such a healthy, a good and healthy tongue. In fact, Mr. Morgan... I would say that you may very well be the healthiest man in America right now. It's, it's good news. Well, I guess that. Yep, and the good news is this. You've got nothing. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Doctor. I was worried when I started coughing up the blood. Yeah, well, sometimes that just happens. Actually, you will find and healthy and nothing's, nothing's wrong. Well, good. I'll just be on my way then. Yes, you probably... Probably should. No need to take any precautions because you're healthy and fine. Possible? Thank you, Doctor. Sure. Well, not a problem, Mr. Morgan. I'll see you later. Nice tie, by the way. Thank you very much. California. There you go. No. It's the new version. It's better. Don't smoke in my face, man. I've got the TB. Like I said, uh, this doctor. I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today yeah wow that is there's a lot going on there oh my jolly yellow hat couldn't save me it's bright out here real bright too bright so what do I do now just walk down the street Contemplating. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. <sighs> you believe that guy just started smoking right in my face? The absolute disrespect. You well, you, and now we come to the fork in the road. Shall I redeem myself through good acts, or shall I become more evil? Probably the good one, right? Probably. It's probably the way to go. He was good and he did good. <laughs> Just gonna take the TV diagnosis and use it as an excuse to become more evil. Well I understand if you don't want to help me, but but I think of you. And now to think about all the people I've coughed on recently. And also when I made out with Charles Chatterney. Is the dear of redemption has come to visit me? What is it, dear of redemption? Do good deeds. I'll do them. I swear. Come back, dear of redemption. I'll do them. I'll do the good deeds. Dear of redemption, where did you go? What? Oh, man. Luckily, I ate a prime rib just before we started um, the stream, so I can enjoy that gold health core all day. <laughs> Already winning against tuberculosis. Nice try, TB. Thought you'd get me, didn't you? Well, guess what? I've eaten the prime rib and I'm enjoying the benefits. Am I going to have, like, all face blood or have I got... Did I wipe that off? Yeah, I wiped that off. Hello. Steedy, get over here. We're going to do the actual Sadie Adler mission now. We've got to get John out of jail, CD. It's important. We're going to start our redemption. CD, stop trampling those nice people. Are you coming? Or you want me to come over there? Oh my God. I've got TB. Shouldn't be walking. Should be relaxing somewhere warm and dry, but not Guama. Apparently, because that just made it worse. Probably all that revolutionary uprising I did probably didn't help. You want 
All right. Time to see about John. <coughs> Do you mind if I come in here and cough TB all over the floor? Is that cool with you? Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they Except for my TB easy. diagnosis, Sadie. Yeah, I'm telling everyone. Yeah, they're probably pretty sad about it. Ever since you boys disappeared. Well... Luxury gay space communist, which is an amazing username. It says, in before my job interview, conveniently before the lovely events about to transpire. But love you, Andy, and all of Oxboxtra. Happy ho, ho, ho. Thank you very much. Good luck with the job interview. Sorry about the depressing events. But look, nice yellow, happy outfit. began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago. Gentle Mandrill says, there are no sicknesses, only happy little Arthurs. Sniff. And then this emoji. I ain't quite sure. JD Kyle donates, thank you very much. I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea. All right. We're teaming up with Sadie, that's good. Patrick Long says, you're just asking to be splattered by a trolley. They wouldn't hit me, a man with TB. There are certain rules that trolley drivers have to follow. One of them is no running over people with TB. I'm pretty sure, it's in the handbook. Fran Fry says, "Star the pain away, Andy, and also don't cough on the redemption deer, please." I don't think deers can get TB, maybe, especially not like um, supernatural, mystical ones that represent the concept of redemption. Pretty sure. We need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a I love the the way we're gonna see if John is still at prison is with a wild hot air balloon caper exactly <coughs> which spoilers folks is what's about to happen so from the depths of despair now we're going to go buck wild in a hot air balloon so that's good he's quite the character i think you'll like him you know i'm impressed you really step things up ain't you hey we didn't know if you was See, that is a good reaction to events, Sadie. What you've done. That is, that's leadership. Stepping up and looking after your people, not being a whiny, petulant jerk and complaining that everyone's against you. Whoa, there's the hot air balloon. I'm excited. This is going to be great. That was a good idea. Oh, I've almost forgotten about that terrible mission we just did. Sadie's just been off hunting O'Driscolls for fun. That's cool. Okay, I feel like I'm I'm dressed like a ballooner. I'm dressed like the sort of person who would go around hot air ballooning. Look, he's in yellow as well. I knew it. I knew this is how balloonists. Yeah, and look, our mustaches are similar. Service, We're kindred service. spirits. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. <laughs> have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy quite this guy's look after this now, mission. I'll switch to a green waistcoat and a red tie. Uh, hop in. Where is she coming? Ah. Well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above! Oh, <laughs> My delicate flower. <laughs> on the this, floor. Guy. Nice. I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, the Scoot says, are you going to use TB as an excuse for everything now? Sorry I shot your horse, but I have TB. Yeah. I get free pass to do anything now. How did you get out of this? <laughs> Bye, Sadie. This is great. I'm taking things off my bucket list. I'm having a hot air balloon day experience. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. Oh, yeah. I think it's a real shame that the hot air balloon isn't like unlockable after this you could just get one for going around the map look at this guy you never get this kind of view do you even though it's a bit misty 
clients once who oh, man that looks good oyster on the ascent whole city down there harrowing experience for all involved how's the air up here thin because <laughs> i've got i've got some breathing problems right now look at that dense forest Ah, oh, you can see over to, like, Caliga Hall and the Braithwaite's and the Greys, where they're setting out. Oh, my. All right, they go through the clouds. These clouds! Oh, man. I miss flying to places. Oh. My God. Yes. Heavenly I mean... Arthur would never would have seen this before, presumably. No commercial... I mean, no aeroplanes at this point, commercial or otherwise. Hot air balloons, few and far between. I mean, maybe maybe up a mountain he'd have seen a view like this, but... I mean, rarely, right? Oh, too high. Yeah, not a problem. So I guess we, we're going... Can I go forward? I can. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to I can't jump out, can I? If I press Y. She did. Oh, no, okay. Just checking. Okay, we're getting a little high now. No, we're good. We're good. I'm in the yellow. I'm in the yellow zone, buddy. I think, Arturo, I think we should be best friends. We've dressed the same. We both love hot air balloons. What if we carried on going, Arturo, into space? What if I became the first cowboy in space? I'm just going to keep going, see if we can break out of the Earth's atmosphere. And maybe... The uh, Martians have got a uh, a cure for TB. I'm gonna keep going, Arturo. Mm, I think we've reached max altitude. Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's gonna be a train, isn't it? I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was a plane. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. No, that's fair. All right, descending. I'm descending. Now, Arturo, I'm, our best friend status is only going to last until I break John out of prison, because John is my forever best friend, just so you know. Um, but while he is in prison, I am going to need a temp best friend. So, what do you say? Are you in? It's the friendship honk. Oh, wow. I think I'm all right. Thank you. Oh, okay. Recalling the, uh, blue Arthur isn't going to eat the bald egg in case he needs to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? Uh, I did, exactly. Oh, man. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Oh, so good. Very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Yeah. Or is it though? Exactly. Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that? You gotta be uh You gotta be open to newfangled ideas like women wearing trousers. That's what I like about you, Arturo. That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? We're um, we're just taking the balloon in Morgan, for a quick look. This is most irregular. Oh, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny. I just what want to doing? see if my friend John is in this prison. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the field. Oh, in the fields. Interesting. 
dear God. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled. For oh, there's a chain gang. I'm bringing her down for a closer look, Arturo. Look out for a guy who's got, like, a sort of craggy yet handsome face. He looks like he's a sort of rough diamond who has learned the power of redemption. If you can see that sort of a face, give me a shout. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. All right, let's have a look. Isn't the easiest to control, let's see if we can you know. see that good, my good man. John Marston face. This was not mm, the nope. I had in mind. Nope. Uh. Oh, hello. Yep, I'd recognize. I'd recognize that face anywhere. What? Ascend! Ascend! We're not doing it. We're just looking at the prisoners. It's not law against looking. Stop shooting the balloon! All right, Arturo, we're out of here. Northwest. All right, got it. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Specifics of this job are not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. I believe they would just start shooting at a hot air balloon. Maybe we just blew off course. Maybe it's carrying the mayor. Ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good lord. Is that, is that Mrs. Adler? We're being chased. How do you <laughs> okay, first off, good eye. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm oh yeah, all right. Sadie, I got you. Stop chasing Sadie, I insist. Hey, Sadie, up there. Guys, stop it. I mean, seriously. Shit, they're all um, Driscoll's. Stop it. This is probably the f <laughs> the first time they've ever had a fight with someone shooting at them out of a hot air balloon. Yeah, at least there's novelty there. Oh, here's more. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you have a kill cam. Amazing. That's right, O'Driscolls. The Vandalier gang, Vandalind gang, now has air support. So maybe. Maybe give up. Oh dear, that boiled egg feels decided. Oh no, scrapple. not your boiled egg. All right, I'll get you a new boiled egg when this mission is over. Make that two boiled eggs. Arturo! No! No! He was my best friend! Man, that's rough. That's rough for Arturo. I gotta say. Uh oh. Alright, we've gotta go over this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 
lowering, I'm lowering. I've almost got it. All right, hold it there, Arthur. Yes, Sadie, go for it. Arturo and his Arthur, his boiled eggs. Go on, Sadie. Bit of climbing. Why? Pull the thing that makes it go up. Don't crash. Keep the hot air balloon and we'll use it. You break your neck. Was that good or bad for my TV, do you think? Maybe. Probably good. Damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. All right, you jerks. You shot my best friend. Temporary best friend, Arturo. So now I'm shoot going to shoot all of you. That's just how it works. Hmm. Is that the horse I've targeted there on the left? Or... Mm, yes, it is. Sorry, horse. You have to understand, bad horse, that Arturo was my very best temporary friend, so... Coming in behind? Oh, okay. Hmm. They've shot off my, my jolly hat. This is turning out to be a very unjolly day. I mean, not as unjolly as his day. Hey! Enough of that. What else have we got? Let's give him the old scope. Bam, bam, bam. Give him the fan, the hammer. Tynoon, etc. I said, Tynoon, etc. Oh, more of them. Better be. And I said it was cool that Sadie had been off hunting O'Driscolls and such. This seems to have riled them up some. There we go. <sighs> Sadie, I'm just, I need to go back for my hat. I only left you an hour ago. You can't stay out of trouble for one Arturo is dead, Sadie. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Cole. Second best friend. They got Cole O'Driscoll. They're going to hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us. Yeah. First. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marst. You saw him? Yes. In the fields. Yeah, one of us was doing the mission properly. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No, but from the fields, yes. 
That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. Damn it, Sadie. No, it's it's just bars. wild enough to work. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <laughs> the two of us is all there is. Yeah, competent. Good, because two is all we'll I mean, need. Also, oh, Charles. A little one. And we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Maybe I will. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say. Come on, boss. Arthur. I heard that. Hmm. A mysterious herb. Maybe it's the cure for TB. Oregano. That's probably not the cure for TB, is it? Game, where's my hat? When did I even lose it? Oh. It's over here. God, the Oak Driscolls. You've taken everything from me. My second best friend, Arturo. My jolly hat. And who the hell is this? Look at you. Another Yeah, coward. you coward trying to, trying to fish. Stuff. What you trying to start? Huh? I'm talking. You wanna die today? You... Sorry, sir, I'm just I'm just working some stuff out. I'm just lashing out at you. It's not your fault. I'm just so so mad about Arturo. Poor Arturo. All he wanted was to fly around in a hot air balloon. <sighs> Poor guy. That's rough. Right. I need to go and get another another hat. Do I have I, mm. Do I have the Sadie mission yet? I'm not sure if I do. What's this? What is Dutch one? What do you want? Dutch one, yeah. Well, good luck with that, Dutch. I'm gonna head back to Saint Denis. Erisans is a new member. Thanks for joining, Erisans. And M Lux says, "Big fan, of, uh, big fan for years now. Have some money for keeping me sane. Also, if you get a chance to see this, I would love to know where you got your iconic black Kojima shirt from. Um, I believe that is from a company called Game T. Uh, G A M E T W -E. Um They do a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, they're Kojima stuff. They do a bunch of good D and D things." Um, uh, I got Jane a D and D notebook from there. That's uh, like a book of spells. It's very cool. Um, I can definitely recommend their stuff. Uh, if you're looking for cool gaming things, check out Game Tea. Uh, Rembrandt Q Einstein says hi, Andy. I very rarely get to see these lives, and I can't stay, but I love the channel. Your videos help keep me sane while I finish my masters. Thank you, thank you, and congratulations, Rembrandt Q Einstein, for finishing the masters. Although with a name like that, I'm sure it wasn't hard. Um, especially if it was in physics or art. Nate's a new member. Thank you very much for joining. And Bacon Bro says, you should break John out with a giant mechanical tarantula. Oh my god, what a great idea. I mean, we found a balloon guy, but I'm not sure we've seen uh, anyone who makes giant mechanical tarantulas yet. But when we do, we're going to recruit him for the team. Um, right, not no, not settings. Map, please. Thank you. We're just just gonna pop over here. And I'm going to I'm going to dress like my great friend Arturo in memory of his memory. Right, Steedy, don't run anyone over. We're in the city now. Remember how we had that talk about how you behave in the city. You're back. Hello. Welcome. No time for the full fashion on, intro. I just need to uh, give myself a green waistcoat and a red tie. Uh, yeah. Do you want anything in a sort of nicer, nicer green? No. Maybe paisley. 
Yeah, that's good. And then, um, just a nice red tie. If you have any questions, you just let me know. Yeah, there you go. And I'll have my hat back, thanks. Game. Although his hat was a sort of leather flying cap, wasn't it? Don't think there's anything I can approximate that with. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just pop an estate boss hat on like that. Alright, thank you. This is a loving tribute to my best friend Art Arturo. As you can probably tell. Thank you for coming. Well it looks like the only mission I have is this stupid Dutch one, so maybe Maybe I do have to do that. Before it'll let me bust John out of prison. My true aim. Alright. If you say so, game. And now, to vault the balcony onto Steedy. In one of my trademark cool moves. <laughs> yeah! Okay, yep. Girl. Flawless. Was this necessary? Let's go! All right, so while Steedy auto horses me back to camp, I'll check in with you folks, see how you're doing. How is everyone? Um, I finished Uncharted 4 this weekend, uh, which I hadn't played before, but I've got a PS5 and I've got nothing to play on it. And it's on PlayStation Plus, so I downloaded that and gave it a go. Um, if you would like to hear my hot takes on three-year-old games, here they are. I liked the story. I thought it was good. It was about pirates. Uh, it looks amazing. Even three years later, uh, the graphics are great. I thought it would be a better game if it was about half as long and didn't have any gunfighting in it. It was the problem I have with all Uncharted games, which is that all the gunfights are identical and boring and bad. I really like the exp exploring, I like the climbing, I like all the puzzles. Um, just don't have thousands of gunfights. At the end of the game, it was like, you have you killed 700 people that's too that's too many people for someone to kill nathan drake has killed more people than like almost anyone in history probably that's just one game he's had four games i just don't think there should be so much shooting you know or make the gunfights a bit more interesting and less boring because obviously there's a lot of gunfighting in red dead redemption and yet you've got your, your dead eye and stuff and all your different guns and scenarios. It just doesn't, doesn't feel as repetitive. I don't, I don't know what it is. But I just find the gunfights... I think Red Dead Redemption would be better if it didn't make you do all, all the gunfights. But it's also it's kind of in keeping with the genre as well. Whereas, I don't know, Uncharted it just feels a bit weird. Anyway, hot takes Hello. on Uncharted. Oh, well, look who it is. Uncle. Oh. Hi, Uncle. Good, good. To good to, is it good to see? So, stop putting words in my mouth, game. No, not for a while now. You boys sure returned with a bang. Can't believe the game just made me say say it was good to see Uncle. Mr. Team Corvette says, "Did you enjoy the big long driving bit about three quarters of the way through it? It was all right." Again, it's like, there were a lot of ideas that I thought were sort of good little ideas, and then they just sort of just went on for too long. So there was some really odd things in it. Like there, was, there was one point in the game, like one point, where you've got a, a flashlight, and it starts to flicker, and the game is like, oh, bang the pad to like d lodge the batteries back in place, like you would with a real flashlight. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then it just, it never, ever did anything like that again. It was just one point in the game. I thought it was um, just a little odd. Um, oh, and the final, oh, I mean, no spoilers. 
for Uncharted here, but the final fight that you have, um, there's like a sword fight thing that you do. And which, I mean, it's in, on paper, it sounds like an amazing idea, but in practice, the, con oh, the way it controls just, and it goes on for so long. Anyway, I still enjoyed it. I still thought it was good. They want us, and they are going to have Just, you know, maybe... Maybe they ain't the problem. <laughs> I don't know. It's maybe it didn't need to be as long as it was. I, we would have been better I guess it's a hard balance to strike, because, you know, game games cost a lot of money. People want to get their money's worth. I mean, I, I but, um... My final move, yeah, but I, I guess don't know. I'm more in Climbing and exploration was great. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly, no doubt. What about the women? We dodge the women and the children, Dutch. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't have done a stupid bank heist. They got him shot then, you idiot. What do you think? We can't stay here. Bit late now. Where are we going to run to? I mean, they chased us from the Grit says, did you catch the guy brush three quid Easter eggs? I did. I couldn't believe that no one had told me about it. Um, there are several guy brush three quid Easter eggs in Uncharted 4. Um... But there's more than and to worry about. It, it's based around a sort of pirate colony founded by these uh, 12 pirate founders. And they're all sort of real pirates, except for one who is very obviously Guybrush Threepwood from Monkey Island, which I love. It's not like explicitly said, but it's very clear that's who it's supposed to be. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you take folks up that way. Micah. And I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Arthur, I ain't got I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Mr. Harry Gray asking uh, for news about Ox Venture Pins. Um, what I can say is that uh, we've spoken to the merch team and they have added a contact us page now on the merch store um which will go directly to the customer services team uh if you're wondering where your order is or if something's wrong or has gone missing um we've added that so you can get straight in touch with the people who know what's going on so if you are um waiting for any merch or want to update on anything like that you can go and check out the contact us page that'll put you in touch with the right people i would say charles my dude charles. will you ride with me also sweet haircut where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brew Country. <sighs> Alright, so we're going to have to go and deal with the Murphy Brood. Who I think we've encountered before. They tried to get me when I was being Skull Rider, which was obviously a huge mistake on their part. But they're real, um, real unpleasant group of people, which is why we've got um, Charles to come with us. So I think the idea is we want to go and live in Murphy Brood <laughs> Country. <laughs> Because no one will come and find us there because it's so unpleasant and the Murphy Brood are horrible cannibalistic serial murderers. Which will make it the perfect place for us to um, set up one of our nice camps. Okay, my girl. Alright Charles, let's go. We need to get this done fast. I guess the Pinkertons do know where this one is because they were here, weren't they? So yeah. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, it's real. I saw some canoes near the bridge. It's a real spooky river, night out here, right Charles. Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I'll take a canoe. Yeah, that sounds great. A good idea. Okay, good. Yeah. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks. Yeah, actually, thank you for being the only useful and sensible gang member. And also got you out of Guama, which, I mean, good work. Wish I'd got out of Guama. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh... It was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I s have I got... What outfits have I got on this? Hyundai. 
Yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time for Skull Rider. Can I put the mask on? You gonna let me do that? Yes. All right, we're riding up, and I think, folks, it's time for another adventure of Skull Rider. Ready to sort these Murphy broods out with masked vigilante Skull Rider, who may or may not be Arthur. No one knows. His his identity is shrouded in mystery. But some say there are s certain clues you can you can spot to his his real identity, such as him having the exact same horse as Arthur Morgan, for example. Charles, you're probably wondering why I'm dressed like this. It's because I have to reveal to you now, Charles, that I am Skull Rider. That's right. You probably, you probably didn't, didn't realize. There's the bridge. There should be some canoes down to the right here. Anyway, Skull, Skull Rider. And his boy Ward, Charles. Hey, get back on your horse. Well, I see one anyway. Ready to do. deliver some vigilante justice. Actually, oh, okay, it's making me take the bow, which is interesting. I guess it's a stealth mission. But why not take a why not take a pump action shotgun as well, just in case. Creek is a few miles up river. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall and eagle flies. Mm -hmm. The Indians? Yeah, I know them. I've been trying to help out of it where I can. At oh, Charles. Place. Things are bad there. It's Charles is so nice. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading in the war. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. We're going to need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. <laughs> Dutch didn't mention that they're cannibalistic serial killers? No? Not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody could Weird that he wouldn't mention that. You think, just be you think he'd want to tell you? It won't be pretty. So be it. There you go, <laughs> Skull Rider and his boy Ward. Yeah, this is making this mission way better. Why? Okay. I thought, <laughs> I thought we'd flip the boat. <laughs> just, just off screen, we both drowned. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm glad we didn't. Nate's a new member. Thank you for joining. And uh, the one who snacks says, let me know if you have any questions. I have a question, mister. Why Arturo? It's, you know, it's his name. Just like mine is Arthur, his is Arturo. Um, I might start going by Arturo now that he's he's not using it. It's quite nice, Arturo Morgan. That's Butcher Creek up ahead. Yeah, this looks fine. Who are they? Normal. The locals. Well, Normal they and good. Too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. Are we just are we just pulling up here? All right. Yeah. Let's walk right, cool. from here. Skull Riders in town. 
I said, Skull Riders in town. Put it away coolly, Arthur. Please. Thank you. Why am I using a volcanic pistol? I don't remember putting that there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's not important. The important thing is that Skull Riders in town. Searching for clues. Doing vigilante justice. Koei, oh wow, God, says Skull Rider shirt in 2021. Hell yeah. I would love that. I'll talk to the merch guy. Say, please. Like, three people will buy one, but those three people will be delighted. And isn't that the most important thing? I think so. It's a bit of a walk. You could grab those horses if you want. Probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. All right, what are we doing, Charles? Scouting out stuff. Was I supposed to take those horses? Probably. Yep. Yeah, it's better than walking, isn't it? I mean, marginally, this is not a very good horse. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. They ain't exactly yeah, it's horrible. Welcome in place. Great place to set up, uh, set up camp. These parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No. But I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. <sighs> For the record, Charles, I think this is a bad plan. And I'm only doing this because the game won't let me break John Marston out of prison until I do it. So. Slow down. Keep it quiet. It could be some of them. That's them, all right. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me. Stay quiet. Let's get closer to them. Okay. All right, Charles. One of them's carrying a body, Charles. I think they're probably not up to any good. I mean, also they're cannibalistic serial killers, so... Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them. Oh, I'll, yeah, I'll take one, all right. I'm here. You take one, I'll take the other. Bam! Bam! That's right, Charles. Good job. Got them both. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill. Machete. There. Yikes. I mean, I'll have it. Uh. Yes. Machete, please. That's cool. It's in keeping with my Skull Rider aesthetic, I think. Charles, check it out. They've got machetes. They're free, you can have one. Okay. Why have you taken off the mask? Let's see what's going on. Arthur. The stage goes one missing. <laughs> now everyone's gonna know your skull rider. The whole point of a secret identity. Jesus. Hmm. That seems bad. They must be in the cave. Let's get on with this. You know what I like about this place, okay. Charles, is it feels like a home. Okay. You know what I mean? Really feels like the kind of um, dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and 
me two options and one of them is dynamite. Dynamiting the cannibalistic serial killers. Charles, I'm going to go with that. Thanks. Honestly, asking Skull Rider if he wants to sneak around or if he wants to blow everyone up with the explodings. Get in a bit closer and then throw it into the cave. Alright. Light that stick and throw it in there. Throw it in dead eye. Hey buddy. Got something for you. <laughs> Skull Rider! Oh, taking cover instead of shooting everyone. Hmm. Yeah, this is bad. Let me, uh... Thanks, Charles. This is what a whole weekend of playing Uncharted will do. <laughs> when you're, you're tapping A to roll out of the way. Oi! Please don't. Thank you. Good thing I bought this shotgun. Oh! I thought that was Charles. Alright. I should pay more attention. Get in the... Get in the frame of mind. The Red Dead Redemption frame of mind. Let's right. Charles, I'm ready this time. Wasn't paying much attention. Alright. Listen up, idiot. Skull Riders in town. Anyone else? Looks like it's on there, Charles. You a dead dog. Get out of get out of this cave. This is ours now. Thanks, Charles. Man, Charles MVP. Where's my hat? We're with you in a second, Charles. This is not my hat. Oh god, I can't I can't wear this. This doesn't go with my whole aesthetic. When did mine fall off? Oh god. Alright. No one look at my outfit. This Murphy Bridge are the worst. And look at heads on spikes. It's just unnecessary. Right, no one attack me with a machete, right? That's not fair. No insta kills. Is that you, Charles? Right, good. Someone's yelling. That's elaborate. You think what I'm thinking, Charles? That's right. This will be a perfect place to live. Don't! Why didn't you shoot him? <sighs> Same guy. You're not going to shoot a person running directly at you? I'd say that's the perfect time. Oh my god. Alright. Sorry, I don't know why you didn't shoot them then. I, press, I definitely pressed the button. Look. <laughs> Dolphin dive there. Looks like it's on there, Charles. I don't feel like sneaking would go any better, to be honest. This feels like the best way to do it. Oh, seriously, though. You You want the girl, do you? You can. Okay. Okay, Arthur. 
Yeah, I've lost my hat, but I'm all right otherwise. Luckily, I didn't put on any bad hats. So I think we're good. Probably for the best that I died that last time, otherwise I'd have had to carry on with that bad hat for a while. Uh, right, dynamite. I feel like more dynamite's the key here. Throw it, Arthur, please. Thank you. There we go. Where's that jerk machete guy? Stick with me, Charles. A jerk machete guy is going to come. And it's going to be bad. Are you serious? Thank you. All right, good. Come on, let's get that poor girl out of the cage. Let me just defuse this situation. Stay away from me. Don't touch me. <laughs> We're just. I'm just cutting the. I'm cutting the ropes. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's, it's okay. I know I'm not wearing the mask, but I'm Skull Rider, the famous vigilante hero. You're safe. You've probably heard tale of my adventures. It's time to go. Never been killed by anyone with a machete in this timeline, as far as you know. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Where are you from? Anisburg. All right, we'll get you back there. What are we doing? Take her there, and I'll go get the others. Sure. This rubbish yes. horse. You okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. <laughs> Annisburg, right? Yes. Thief. Okay, Annisburg. Ah, so far. Um, it's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just right, but don't breathe too deeply to when breathe. I'm exhaling. Um, just a word of warning I know. on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay, Some I shot them all. Just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name? Miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all ah, be this old. horse's cause are terrible, but Thank no you. point giving giving it any oat cakes or anything it's just a burner one of the mining cottages um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street i can show you from there okay just try to relax now yeah all right nearly there annisburg gets real windy Ellen Anderson says, I started this year's overly ambitious gingerbread project this weekend, so while I'm technically watching the stream, I'm really just thinking about cookies. I mean, same, to be honest. Um, oh. <laughs> Horse nearly bucked us. Because there's no stamina left. Sorry, sorry. That would have been embarrassing. Just get her bucked off in the middle of the street. Ty C donates. Thank you very much, Ty. Thank God. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, then. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! 
<laughs> you saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. Murphy Brew got My friend Skull Rider told me all about it. Ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here. Oh, I couldn't this. I couldn't accept it. That's oh, okay, ma'am. Okay, but I'll pass on your thanks to Skull Rider, my friend. I think they bought it. This is down. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Man, having quite the day. Old Arthur, isn't he? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> quite the day. Oh boy. Zach B says, take the money. I don't need the money, Zach. But what I do need is those sweet redemption points. Just cleansing my soul. One declination of money at a time. How you get on? Okay. Oh, getting a bit of uh, Took her home. Oh, you a little bit of green screen peeking in. Let me just anything? maybe. I think maybe. Sort that out. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. There we go. He's buying a stake in break the mine the in the Ambition. The ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll yeah. sniff about, see if he knows we're this here, way. and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, yeah. Did you miss good. me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, almighty. Calm down. I won't be ignored. George Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I need to Dutch up to his old classic me. tricks Nothing. of being bad. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. She says what we're all I thinking. Told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard! Go on, shoot me! Dutch, maybe don't. You told on me. Oh, you betrayed so me. What? Dutch, just. Arthur? She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. <laughs> she knew the rules. What the well. hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. <sighs> Where's the lie in what she was saying? Anyway, even though it technically wasn't Dutch, I think that still deserves one of these. Anyway, we're back with the Deer of Redemption. It's hanging out. That's pretty cool. Good to see the Deer of Redemption doing well. Kildosa says he says it like a seven-year-old. Yeah, you told on me. <coughs> very, very uncool. Danny McNamara says, quit your molly gagging would have been quite the pun at that time. Let's get that hair pomaded. Just because we've got TB doesn't mean... We have to look scruffy. Where's my Skull Rider hat? Thank you. All right. Now, finally, we can go and do... We can go and break John out of prison, finally. I had to do all that unpleasant nonsense. Just to be able to get my sweet boy out of Sissica. So let's do it. We've eaten our vegetables. Now it's time for dessert. Arthur. All right. 
Where are you at? Yes. Morning to you. Good morning, specifically to you, Charles. You okay? I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's rough. Anyway, I've got to go. John's in trouble. Sorry says, yeah, all that really did get in the way of springing John. I know, right? That's another, like, couple of days of prison he's had to go through. Sweet John. He's not made for prison. Gavin! What? No, not... No time for you, Gavin, shouting man. John's in prison. What are you even doing out here? Yeah. You're not going to find Gavin out in the... In Murphy country. You're going to just gonna get yourself killed by cannibalistic serial killers. So anyway, we're going to spring him from the fields while he's working. They won't expect it. It'll be the last thing they expect. Out of my way! John's in prison still. So what else we got coming up this week? Hey, Cyberpunk's out this week, right? Who's excited for Cyberpunk? I am. Although, it's that kind of excitement where... Like, it'll, I mean, it's probably going to be good. Probably. What if, it's not, what if it turns out that it's not as... Because it's been built up so much now. Uh, I don't know. I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be great. It's going to look great, regardless. But yeah, let me know in the chat if you're looking forward to Cyberpunk and also um, like what kind of Cyberpunk stuff you want to see from us because we'll be doing plenty of, uh, plenty of Cyberpunk stuff on the channel. Frodo Baggins says, unless it gets delayed again, which, I mean, it's entirely possible. They're like, hey, guys, I know it's out in four hours, but we just need eight more hours. Hey, Abigail's here, too. That's cool. You coming with? Fine, you've got like two thirds of the capable Thank gang members you. on this mission. Thank you both. So don't even worry about it. Alright, All right, here we go, jailbreak time, finally. I'm excited. Breaking John out of jail. My stamina core is empty. Gonna eat some corn beef now to build it back up. Gonna eat some kidney beans, yeah. Now my core is better. Gonna break you out of jail with guns and running. I think we should have broken him out with a hot air balloon. Hovered over him, okay, dropped down the rope, tossed him a gun, and he could have fired from the rope as we escape. You know, like a Fast and Furious style. We're good? <laughs> yeah, apparently he's. He doesn't know what's going on. That's cool. Uh, bolt action. High velocity. Let's head for that watchtower. All right. Okay. Stay, low. Stay low. Head for the watchtower. Take out the guard. Should really refill my dead eye core as well. Thank you. All right. Let's go. And why not? Let's fortify. Why not? Alright, 
take out the guard. In, uh... Howdy, friend. That's for imprisoning sweet John Marston. Oh, wow, I am so covered in blood. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess. John, I mean, Arthur. Just fall out, that's fine. All right, where, where are we going, Sadie? Oh, we're supposed to be... Sorry, we're scouting it. Yes, I forgot. Sadie, I'm coming. I'm taking the mission seriously, I swear. Okay. Hey, I think I see him. Oh yeah, that's him. You can tell. You can tell by the Wario legs. Can you... There you go, Arthur. That wasn't John. But he had those Wario legs. Are any of you John? Oh, I said John look-alike. Oh, man. It's one of those agency lookalikes who only really looks good from a distance. No. You, Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. Great. So John Marston isn't in the field today, which is a bit of a wrinkle in the plan. John, John maybe escaped on his own. So I guess this is the plan now. We're just going to take a human shield, walk right up to the front gate. Why not? Should I maybe put a mask on beforehand? Some will say yes. History will be the judge. To the lady for a gun at her. Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, Look, all of you back up. Just give me John Marston. Towards the entrance, Nobody gets hurt. Who's in charge of this fine Eleanor Smith says, John in prison. Boy, I sure can't wait till I'm out of prison. I'll get to talk to Lenny and Molly again and admire Arthur's excellent health. Uh, yeah. He's been quite Poor John. Exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're, they're not going to let you do this. Well, Dodger5277 says, I've been meaning to tell you about the museum we have here in Claremore, Claremore Oklahoma. The J.M. Davis Gun Museum has 12,000 guns from the Old West to present. A decent little holiday stop. There is something very aesthetically pleasing about Old West so, guns. You a popular employee, As my friend? Not as special Bad and destructive as guns can be, Old West guns can be pleasing to look at as art pieces. Especially the ones I have made here in Red Dead Redemption. As you can see there with my nice wrapped um, bolt-action rifle. Some nice, uh, nice walnut grain on that. Beautiful. Yeah, well, we'll deal with that when we come to it, Sadie. So here's the giant um, impenetrable fortress where they're holding John. Shit. No. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just There's two of us. I've got a volcanic pistol for some reason. If John's already escaped, I mean, I would would expect nothing less. 
Chase Jameson in? Okay. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. Jürgen Ervik says, can't wait for Cyberpunk. Maybe you begin the tips video. Yes, definitely gonna do something like that. Because it seems like the sort of game that's gonna have a lot of confusing systems. Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, so? very funny. You know, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15, 16, up. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Yeah, you bastards. Don't cry, buddy. Well, then just bring us John Marston. Oh, hell yeah. Here he is. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay. Today's your lucky day. Let's go. Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. Come on, why aren't you making a run for it? I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna kill him and then and then shoot him. Just all right, suppressing fire. Nice pattern of suppressing fire. Now come on, let's go. Come on, team. We're escaping. The whole point is that we don't. Oh god! All right, fine. The whole point is that we don't want to kill guards. I thought. But apparently, that's what we're doing. Folks, you coming or what? Hey, John. How was it in prison, John? How are you doing? Are you good? Are you good? How's your health? Have they been feeding you? What have they been feeding you? Have you been getting enough exercise? Have you been getting enough sleep? Did you have a nice cellmate? Stop. Stop it. I'm trying to catch up with John here. Man, I'm shooting people on the back on the balcony. Come on, we've got loads of space. Let's go. Oh, you are. All right, good. Ah, John. I'm with human shield for John. I'll take any bullet. I'll take all the bullets for you, John. You shoot my John. My very best friend. What are you doing? I'm trying. I'm going. Let's go. You always seem to need rescue, Marston. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You. You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Let me mean it's it comes from a place of love. You can tell. John. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! You're looking well, well though. Tail soon enough if you boys Three squares a day. Oh, that's Getting to cold, take a turn around the the yard for exercise. Uh, hey, Arthur. Thank you. Hey, you're Don't welcome. It. That's what friends Let's are for. Go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Yeah. So, so why did? Well, how come you chose to go on Sadie's today? horse? Is Abigail all right? Just out of interest. She's fine. There's, there's lots of room on my too. horse. I've even got a nice pelt back there. She managed to escape. It's very um, very soft. Hosea. That's still. It's all right. You don't have to. I mean, you don't, you don't have to say. All them years. 
Arthur's why I was or anything. Arthur. I'm just wondering. He was like, like family. It's fine. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. It's fine. Sometimes you just wanna, no. you just wanna go with Sadie. That's cool. What a goddamn no mess. Even, not even and then we. What about the the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down. Oh yeah, there's this whole place called Guama. Oh, John, it was absolutely buck wild. You would have hated it. Yeah, right? And then we had to overthrow, like, uh, an oppressive regime that was there. There were cannons and this revolutionary leader. Like, this huge storm with the boat sank. and Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus. <laughs> Maybe you should have just left me to Yeah, help. or I mean just sort of make get, get out of there on your own. I should warn you. The Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time. So yeah. Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man. I know, right? I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. It felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right No, now. he is. He's more himself now than he's ever been. He yes. Arthur realizes. John realizes. Sadie realizes. No Molly realized. Uh, yes, not. Well, <sighs> at least we got him out of there. That's the main thing. You're safe now, sweet boy. Hey, everyone. Look what we did. Broke John out of prison. It was easy. Guess it was the right time. Hey, Dutch. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent <laughs> for you yet. I went. But I said... Yeah, I know what you said, and it was steep and dumb. So guess what? I, I felt different, and I did it. Is that yeah. So. What are you going to do about it? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us... It's not going to, because I broke him out in the best way ever. I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty. Arthur, it ain't. I have to Yeah, well, you've always got a plan at you, Dutch, and guess what? They suck. John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. It, it was talking to hanging yeah. the Dutch. You wanted to leave him in there till he got they hanged? Was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. <laughs> Patrick Long <laughs> warning me not to tell John about what happened in Guama, because I'll inspire him to go to Latin American nations and overthrow governments. John would never, surely. <laughs> Such a copier. Just copies all my ideas. Well, everyone. Why have you changed hats, Arthur? Arthur? Arthur. I know it's a cutscene, oh, but you can't just you can't just go around putting oh, on hats boy. that haven't been handpicked uh, for the outfit. I don't know. It's not how this works. Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. <sighs> Oh man, man, oh man, oh man. It's all going a bit wrong, isn't it? What do you think? Uh, what do you think, Jack? Hi there, Jack. Hi, Uncle Arthur. Don't stray too far. I won't. All right. How about you, Abigail? Well, at least he's back. Thank you for getting him. Yeah, there's no worries. Of course, someone had to. 
Uh, all right. I guess we're uh, <laughs> we've got a mic emission. What a treat! What a real treat! Oh, all right. I feel like the theme of this episode is Dutch and his bad decisions. So we may as well cap off the stream with the final mission. Where Dutch and Micah go full Dutch and Micah. Why not? Let's lean into it. Shut up, Reverend. You look bad too. All right. You seem well on the other hand. None of us are winning any healthiest looking face competitions anytime soon, all right? So how about just put a lid on it? Oh, that's wonderful news. Ow. <laughs> all right. Can I are you not going to let me get a gun out? I think I'm too close to... No, okay, it's going to let me, finally. Uh... Right. Anyway, if you could... Just not for a second, please. I'm trying to... Thank you. These Murphrys. Can't even get my gun out. Honestly. Anyway. Skull Rider. No one messes with Skull Rider. Ah, oh, I've got blood all over my coat. I guess it adds to the aesthetic, that's fine. The Skull Rider aesthetic. Look at this health core. Look what you've done to it. If I can probably not time for that. There's some cool stranger missions around here that would be good to do at some point. There we go. But there is always next time. And I kind of I do want to lean into yep. Dutch is a massive jerk who ruins everything this stream. It's kinda of, it's nice to have a theme. With occasional moments of levity, like hot air ballooning until Arturo died. And breaking John out of prison. Let's see how much time we've got after we do this Dutch mission. It'd be nice to end on a positive note. But I do have to finish on time because Mike and Luke are going to be streaming Bomberman with whoever wants to show up and play with them. So check out the link uh, in the pinned comment if you do fancy a chance of playing Bomberman R uh, with, those, with those guys. Hey, Dutch and Micah. How are you? How are my favourite gang members? Good, I hope. Oh. Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said... No! Were you okay. followed, Michael? Please. What is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh... You don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And yeah, not inside you, ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> Uh, Elvis press play asking if Bomberman is free now. I think I think yeah it is. Um, I don't think you have to actually buy it to play it. That is my understanding. But check out the um, stream page for info. Good. So we got Micah and this Dutch bag. We don't need a rat. We 
got sloppier than the I town mean, drunk. that is a fair Who point. Are, you rode into town loudly announcing how you're going to rob the bank. Yeah, I see it. Best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get her money, start over. I think that Dutch and Micah should move on. Well, Actually, that's a good idea. Gotta happen. And fast. Otherwise, Cornwall and Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall Hi, Micah, I th we're here. a lot of yeah, harsh words have yeah, been said between us. I think we should bury the hatchet. The river. And there's a peace uh, offering. Cornwall I think we should kiss on the mouth. We should kiss each other with money. mouth and tongues. Now, of course to show our new Come affection on. for each other. This better not be. I think that's the the best way of reconciling. What do you think? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> Guys, can I stop and clean my gun, please? It needs gun oil. Needs to be said. Desperately. He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason. That Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, it's his. Wow, you're so noble, he bought Dutch. It just to destroy these folks, his sugar, his oil, his law. Mm, sounds kind of like how you would like things to be, only with you instead of Leviticus Cornwall, doesn't it, Dutch? Is that maybe the problem? We're going to cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? <laughs> we want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. No, he probably would if you stop robbing him, I would say. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Ah, oh, look at the oily sheen on the water. That's a nice touch. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. All right, let me just real quick before we do anything, folks. I'm just gonna Where are you going? just gonna give it a little wipe down with some gun oil. I'm cleaning my gun, Dutch, because I know that you suck and this mission's going to all kick off and then then who's going to have to shoot everyone? That's right, Muggins here. Arthur, you're going to I am cleaning my weapon. Thank you. All right. Will you get out of sight? Okay, I love this oh, plan. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than three. Look at this Leviticus Cornwall, not even Sorry, wearing a hat. No, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderland. Bring him here and leave the I mean, he's literally ten feet away. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. All right. Mr. So I think we've got some valuable intel Mr. here um, about what those folks are up to. I bought into this mine. So I think we can match. probably head back to the camp I armed with this information. Success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you feel business doesn't give two and, figs um, about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's yeah, maybe I won't need to use the guns after all because we've houses, scoped out the situation and in actual fact we Oh, okay. Already, no, we're, we're going. What do you want, sir? I'm, I'm going with <laughs> just walking yeah, into the open. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. 
I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. You should hear what this one says about me. This poor fellow. Nag, nag, nag. All day long. My feelings are hurt. You Is your best friend you, like that, sir. Mr. Cornwall? Rude to you, even though you try and save him. Anyway, this isn't about me. You kill, I kill. You rob, I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy. Yeah, Dutch, you're a real prince. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, ten thousand dollars, and safe passage out of here. I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> Dutch, this plan is terrible. Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land. Noise, Arthur. No. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. Certainly is noisy. Dutch. Dutch, why? <laughs> Dutch, seriously, why? Seriously, Dutch, why? Why have you done this? Oh, Boise, here we go. All right, Dutch, where are we going? What's the plan? Something about papers? Who are we going to kill next? The President or the Queen of England or whoever else is more important than you. Is someone up on this? No, nope, guess not. Ah, someone up there, though. Seems fine, unfortunately. Mm, all right. Get a move on, Arthur. Blow yourself up. Just, just trying to get a little. There we go. Good. All right. Problem solved. Shut up, Micah. Oh, sorry guys, this keeps happening. It's just, oh, I am a real butterfingers today. Keep meaning to throw it at the, the bad guys, you know. Let's go, let's go. 
Anyway. Ooh, health four. Sort that out. Sorry, Micah, I just I just caught that um, that comment about slowing slowing us down. Oh, again with the butts. I'm really sorry. It seems to it's weirdly correlating with every time you give me a hard a hard time. Weird that. I don't know. This is my cover spot. Get your own. Yeah. Alright, what are we doing? Come on! We can take the horses from that coach! Let's go! Escaping it. We try talking it out! Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed you. And poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. Uh. They're trying to block us off. Go right. So, post-mission briefing, how do you folks think that went? Good. Is that sort of what you were you were hoping would happen? Was that the sort of the general aim here today? Oh, now you, now you catch fire. Wow. All right. I guess no more blowing up Dutch and Mike. Yeah. Otherwise, the mission fails. All right. Let's <laughs> he was backwards on his horse there. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. I would say that's actually critical mission success, if anything. Wow, you found the secret good ending of the game. And it turns out that um, Dutch dying is the cure for TB somehow. I haven't ironed out, ironed out all the story details yet. Maybe when he dies he emits a sort of gas that cures all ailments. Well, folks, Dutch is bad. Micah is also bad. Oh. We all okay? Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly... Yeah, I mean, just that's a pretty good point. Distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's... Bonds at his oil factory. 
Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess. <laughs> Take Bill, I guess. Take, wait, who's good? Um, Mike, who have we got left who isn't dead talk. because of my incompetence? Um, Bill, I guess. Plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. All right. We'll meet up back I'll see you camp. then. Yeah. Brown nose. Hate this you. Is crazy. Oh. Well, those jerks have gone, so that's good. <laughs> Chicken Parmesan says, Is my birthday? Would love a sh uh, shootout. I presume that means shout out rather than getting into a gunfight with uh, me or other people. Uh, Mr. Beard, by the way, apparently got me a disappointingly shaven chin for my birthday. Just kidding. Happy Monday. Well, happy birthday, Chicken Parmesan. Um, yes, I did have a shave. It was getting extremely long and annoying. Um, so I shaved it. It's fine. I think it looks, I think it looks fine. Um, and the one who snacks is not surprised and sad we couldn't give Mike a TB. I know. But what can you do? Just dynamite him as much as possible during missions, I guess. Uh, Patrick Long says, where's the Dutch did a funny thing video? Further referred to as the DDAFT video. Here it is. Also, some people have pointed out that we rescued John and we didn't play the John and Arthur song. So as we wrap up, let's just enjoy the fact that John is returned to us safe and sound. John, I've got one aim To make us best friends by the end of the game Sharing special moments like us robbing a train I hope you feel the same Okay, folks, that's going to do it for today. Um, head on over to the link that's pinned uh, in the chat. Uh, that's going to be Mike and Luke playing some uh, Google Stadia. They're going to be playing Bomb Man. If you want to play along with them, you can do that. Uh, should be fun. I'm going to see if I can jump in as well. Uh, should be a good time. Um, hang around this week. We've got a bunch of cool stuff coming out. I've got a um, video going up tomorrow about summons in RPGs that I'm uh, looking forward to editing. Then uh, we've got some more stuff on Thursday, probably some cyberpunk stuff. Um, yeah, should be a good week. Looking forward to it. So go and see those guys in the other stream. Tell them I say hi. And just write, um, just write Dutch bag. Just write Dutch bag in the comments. Um, that should confuse them. That should be a good time. Uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Please go and check out their stream. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And we will see you next time for more Morgan Mondays. Although... Probably not for a little while because the Xmas challenges start on Sunday. So people wondering when the Xmas challenges are going to kick off. It's Sunday. So check that out. Uh, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.